We're looking okay. Clouds, though, starting to gin up over the Gulf, starting to slide our way. And we've had a few moments of rain here. Fox 35 Storm Tracker radar confirming that. Light stuff around Brevard County. Little area of moderate rain here just east of Spring Hill as you get over toward uh, areas near Hernando County on the west side of the state. Some of that has expanded out and some lighter rains here around the villages. I-75 corridor, the Florida Turnpike, that general area isn't all that impactful, though. Maybe it moistens up the ground a bit. A little annoying if you go out to walk the dog this morning, get the morning paper. But again, this is how it goes today as we increase. We see the rise in rain chance and cloud cover. Winds will also begin to shift out of the north as a cold front straddles the region, passes bodily all the way through. So there are some chillier numbers in the forecast here for you. Right now, not bad. It's in the 60s and temperatures across the state of Florida. You can see the leading edge of the chill just west of Escambia County, right around Mobile Bay, Alabama, and points north and west as the front drops and drapes southbound. That's where we see the wind shift and we funnel in the cooler, drier air. Right now, it looks like the future clouds and rain modeling showing us just scattered showers. There might be an isolated thunderstorm around, but by and large, much of it's just kind of showery weather, much of it arriving after about 12 p.m. This afternoon will hold steady through the afternoon and by later tonight towards sundown, things easing and we start to see skies transition once again. I always tell you, you don't like the Florida weather scene. Wait five minutes and it'll change like that, right? So that's kind of what we're enduring today as we see the front moving through. It'll be a little cooler northern areas compared to points down to the south. A look at Satellite Beach today. Rain chance after 12 o'clock. It'll be breezy. Coverage at around a good solid 50%. It's a good bet by 4, 5, 6 o'clock across the Space Coast where we find Edgewater and coast of Volusia County. Your chance is rising at around noon to 30%, holding steady at 40% as we get to about 50, the uh, 5 o'clock time frame. Why we love Florida? I want to talk about it because we've got the next big thing coming. That's the front today, right? We typically get a little ribbon of rainfall out ahead of these approaching fronts. We need that, right? It's dry season, so we get the raindrops when we can. Now, as this front comes through, it just makes for beautiful weather. One of the great reasons why I love Florida is that front clears all the way down to the south and the cool, dry air moves on in. Plentiful sunshine kind of coupled mixed with some high clouds during the day on our Tuesday. And by Wednesday, another front, can you believe it, targets the region toppling temperatures again heading on down. So for tonight, we're in the 40s at Gainesville, 43 Ocala, 50s closer to Orlando. The nation, oh boy, eight below zero up in Minneapolis at the Twin Cities, Chicago right now. At 14, Toronto at 16 over the international border. Leading edge of some of this Arctic air getting all the way down to Atlanta this morning with more cold air coming on down from north to south. And as we survey radar across the nation, we've got rain to the south. Got some lake effect snows now around Buffalo, New York. You know, the suspect spots when I say mid-January and I say Buffalo, New York, you know, the two kind of go in tandem and hand in hand, right? So that's how it plays out today there with a whopping two above at Minneapolis. Chicago develops some snow showers. It's energy moves through there. We'll find 72. Beautiful Maricopa County, Central Arizona and Phoenix AZ at 72. And we're 44 Seattle from San Fran down to LA. Looks like 10 degrees of separation with some mixed skies out along our west coast of the U.S. Our forecast here locally in Central FLA. Looking for numbers coming in. Again, the cool zone here. Highs in the 60s and 70s all week. Lows in the 40s and 50s. 